Hello and welcome to week five, episode five of Mountaintop Musings with me, your host, Luna Love, here in beautiful Topanga Canyon. And today we're going to talk about setting goals and setting intentions and how to do so effectively while retaining your energy or using it wisely along the process. So um, Steve Jobs says, focusing is about saying no. And I love that when you really need to focus on something and get a job done or complete an intention, uh, complete a cycle of action, it takes focus and saying no to a lot of other things so that you can remain steadfast in that one thing that you're committed to. And I just love that quote and love the intention of that because it really allows you to say sometimes those external no's is one big internal yes to you. And it's to that intention, to whatever it is that, that is filling your heart, that you're putting your energy towards. And so what I like to think of is investments. So when we set an intention, we, set, um, we create an opportunity for investment. What are you investing your time, your energy, your thoughts, your words, your actions into? And so when I think of investments, you have two accounts. Think of bank accounts, for example. And... One might invest in the account of there's so much to do, there's so little time, a lack, a lack mentality account. One might invest in I'm focused, I'm steadfast in my direction and my will to create this, this completion, whatever it is that you're completing, and to follow it. And it has the energy of I can. Um, it has the energy of will. To do so and it has the energy of courage to continue and so for the other account there can be a myriad of different things um, including I don't know how um, any sense of lack will fit into that so when you invest your time your money your thoughts your words your actions you're investing your that is energy that is a form of investment and so when you put your energy towards I can't, I don't know how, there isn't enough time, I feel overwhelmed, I'm so busy, there's too much, then that's what is growing. That account is growing. It has more power, it has more money, it has more energy in it so that when you need that energy and you want to take 200 energy units out of an account, you're going to go to the account that has more. So if you invested 400 energy units of thought into this lack account, well, then you're going to take from there. And that's what you're going to get. You're going to get that, um, those units. And not only are you investing in it, but the universe moves to support you in whatever you put your energy towards. And so that's kind of like interest. And so if you put your energy and invest in the I can and I will and I may not know how but I'm going to do it account, you are focusing your energy in one direction and that is a positive investment that's going to give you a greater return. And not only that but it grows. It's this mental way of creating what you want in the world. And so I just love Steve Jobs quote, focusing is about saying no. And my theme is Small steps equal big results. If you took part in the purpose program, that is a huge foundational piece of that. Small steps leading up to creating big, huge, purposeful, impactful change. And that's what I like to see because so often in achieving a goal or setting an intention, we can set it so high that we don't just see that the step that we need to take right now is right in front of us. And so we set this goal way in the future, this big thing that we have to accomplish, and it feels big. And we, the goals that we might set, might, we might fall short because of the limiting beliefs or time that actually is available. And that sense of missing the mark or failure can really hurt the ego and not wanting to continue. Whereas if you create success, if you create a positive reinforcement mechanism of like great job well done look at this one small thing you did and celebrate yourself you're going to create better change it's going to improve your attitude and want to create the idea of stepping forward more in that direction and so you'll create another small step which will lead you in another small step and it feels good to celebrate and acknowledge yourself and you'll do another 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 until you're like oh I'm done I just 
did what I intended to do. How easy was that? Rather than um, striving and effort. Allow yourself to set that intention. Stay focused. Stay clear. Say yes to one thing. Say no to anything that's not in your highest alignment and move forward step by step. So that's a little bit today about setting goals and setting intentions. And I invite you to check out my new moon, I'm sorry, new dawn ebook. It's a free offering that I developed for this specific purpose. It dives deep into multiple layers of how to create energy efficiency in your morning ritual and time awareness and time management in order to really create Um, success in your life, success in your goals, and completion in all the cycles of action that you initiate so that you have your energy and can use it in the most optimal way of being service in this world. So I invite you to check that out. The link will be below. I hope that you enjoy this and share it with your communities. Subscribe and go to my site, lunalovewellness.com and check out more. There's tons of offerings and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Bye for now, and may you always walk in beauty.